Hello everybody, welcome back to TQM Travels. So about four years, almost exactly to the day, I recorded my first episode of TQM Travels Carry On. I was uh, on a work trip and uh, up in Michigan, West Michigan, and I was told by my site contact to check out some cherry picking because it was just the season for cherry picking in Michigan. And now it is cherry picking season again, but this time, Lisa is joining us. I'm up here for a work trip again, but I was gonna be here at the end of the week, so I was like, well, let's, why not make a long weekend out of it? So Lisa is tagging along while I'm working up here in Michigan. We're here at Rask Cherries again to pick some cherries. How excited are you, Lisa? Pretty excited. There are so many cherries on these there trees. Are. Look at this tree right here. All of these cherries. Definitely check out that first episode I did. It was uh, pretty terrible, honestly. I, I feel like my uh, vlogging has improved since then, but we're gonna pick some cherries here. Oh, but before we start, Lisa, tell the people about this restaurant you found for us to kick off our trip here. Lisa found an excellent restaurant for lunch. It's a Nashville hot chicken recipe in Michigan. Yeah, it was so good. It was called Hancock, I think, mm. in Grand Rapids. Oh, it was so good. The chicken sandwiches were so crispy. Lisa ordered a Virgin Bloody Mary, and <laughs> she was like, oh my God, all of these Came things. like half a chicken. <laughs> she's really like, this did. counts as a side item. But it did. look at Lisa, she's got the, uh, she's got the bucket ready. Lisa, what, are you gonna, you got a cherry already? Yeah, it's the inaugural cherry. Oh. Well, these are sweets, not tarts. Yeah. It's not super sweet. I'm not good at this. Maybe you should choose. I'll choose. Maybe this isn't dark enough. Let's see. I mean, like this one, Lisa. This is the one. You want me to share? No, I trust you. Is that your one? Or should we try the other type of cherries? Mm. There's like three types of cherries. This, yeah. Pretty good. Uh, we're going to pick some cherries, come along for the ride while we're up here in West Michigan. And yeah, let's uh, enjoy this beautiful weather and delicious cherries. <laughs> the best thing about cherry picking is getting to try them along the way. How is that bad? All the good ones she said have so far been up top. Yeah, when we got approval for this project, my boss was telling me that we were going to be back up in Grand Rapids in July. And I was like, yep, send me. <laughs> I will 100% take that job. <laughs> oh, you're so proud and beautiful. What's up, Lisa? These. Oh, these. these ones? Yes. Right here? I'll tell you. Eh. Oh. Yes. So juicy. Here, give me these. Oh, look at all of these. Oh my goodness, so many cherries. Yeah, come over this side. Oh, you just dropped one on me. I did not. <laughs> what are you doing up there? I'm picking the cherries. <laughs> oh, it's hard. Want me to hang you down one for your mouth? Ah, wait. Ah. Oh. <laughs> it's upside down. There it is. Ah, <laughs> you're missing. How can we do it? <laughs> All right, Lisa. Oh, that's a, that's a sizable amount there. <laughs> the benefits of having two people is look at all these really dark cherries up there. So I don't remember this when I was here the first time, but they have signs for each type. So the first type that we were picking at the very beginning were these burgundy pearls. And that second wave that was up top, that at least and I really like their black pearl. It looks like they have quite a few rows for each of those. Then there's another type though, right? Yeah, but it's that one. Oh, okay. What's this one? Benton. Benton. Oh, okay. Let's check these ones out here. 
let's go tr give it a try, you know? We'll see if we like this variety. Ooh, doble. Clink. <laughs> Yep. These ones look good. You wanna try? Look how big they are. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. Those are good. Yep. Oh, really good. Yep. Look at those. Yep. <clears throat> oh, perfection. Yeah, these ones are amazing. Very juicy. Got you this. Oh, thanks. Let's try it. Ready? Okay. You don't like them? No, they're delicious. Look at how big these summits are. They're so fat. Lisa and I are finally done picking sweets. We just couldn't stop ourselves. We kept seeing different types and we would go in to pick some. What was your favorite though? Oof. Those last ones were they? The summits? Yes. Those were spectacular. And then right before that, the black golds were also good, but the summits were so big. <laughs> the Benton's another good one. Look how many we got. Let's look at the bucket. I got it. Oh. Too late, I already put here. So many. This is definitely more than I picked when I was here by myself last time. So I think we're gonna, once again, skip on the tarts. Cause I think you could correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure with tart cherries, you're just using them for baking primarily. We just want to eat them. We don't want to, we don't want to cook. So there's also a little barn where we're gonna cash out our cherries where you can buy jellies, preserves, pies, fillings. Last time when I was here, they had turnovers. So let's see if they have those again. We have cherry turnovers, cherry donuts. We got a little slushy. How many, what was our weight on the cherries? I don't know. Regardless, it's so affordable. It was like $27, including all of this. So the cherries is probably only like 10 bucks. <laughs> so we're gonna be up here in Michigan for a few days actually we're gonna be visiting Lisa's friend Tracy who lives up here and I don't know what else we're gonna get into this weekend we might try some breweries we might try some disc golf who knows so that's it for today but we'll catch you guys sometime later tomorrow I'm gonna to be at work so probably won't be doing too much but <laughs> other than working so we'll catch up with you guys see you soon all right how's this cherry donut I'm good is it like fresh cherries? Oh, there's like cherry in it. Oh yeah, cherry chunks and the uh -huh. cherry frosting. All right, just like the first time I recorded this, eating my turnover in the car. Mm. Mm. It's warm. I didn't expect that. <laughs> I don't remember it being warm last time. Very gooey though. That hasn't changed. You want a tiny bite? No, but I want your donut. What? You're not gonna get to eat my donut? I don't want the turnover, I want the donut. Okay, well, let me try the donut. Let me have a bite at least, right? Fine, one bite. <laughs> Give me a chance as I know. <laughs> That's really good. Do yeah. we need to go buy a dozen real quick? A bunch of cupcakes. That's true. Oh yeah, when we were in Grand Rapids earlier, Lisa found a cupcakery called the Salted Cupcake. They had some pretty good cupcakes. So, so far a lot of good food on the trip. It's only the first day. Okay, we gotta give you a tour of the Christopher. Starting with 
The left sleeve. <laughs> Jerry, right dead. sleeve. Oh, your right sleeve. Fine. Well, look at this. This though. one's the biggest, right? What? <laughs> do I have any on my back? No. Oh, okay. But you do have some on your front. What more? You have spot here. Ugh. And then you have some spots. Everywhere. So, not only did he pick cherries, but... The cherries picked me. They picked him. <laughs> it was a good time, though. Yeah, super fun. So, after eating all those cherries while we were picking cherries, we didn't know if we were going to be hungry tonight. I'm now still... it's 9 p.m., so yeah. now we're hungry. <laughs> yeah, uh, it doesn't even really get dark here until like 9.30. And we're, so we're still awake, we got hungry, so we're checking out a brewery behind us. This is Brewery Vivant in downtown Grand Rapids, so let's get some brews and some food. Whew, dinner was filling. very filling, I am so full. we started a little pre-full. <laughs> right, I thought, I guess my, uh, I thought I was hungry, but then right I when we... like wasn't that hungry. Like right when we got the appetizer, we had some beer cheese as an appetizer. I was like, oh no, <laughs> I'm already feeling full. <laughs> the food was... Yeah, it was alright, I thought. It was not bad. Your uh, Caesar salad, though, was really good. Yes. It hit the spot, more it so than spot. my burger. My burger was just a That's little too it heavy. Was like a little, it was a little too heavy for, for me. no room left to <laughs> eat on The beers, though, were really good. I had a really, I, I really like this, uh, like, mango and pineapple Saison. Ooh, so refreshing. And then, made that whole <laughs> and then we both tried this uh, Tootsie Roll Stout. That was pretty smooth and refreshing also. Not too, not too malty, just uh, you know, it tasted like a Tootsie Roll, honestly. It's pretty good. But we are going to go back to the hotel, get some sleep. I'm going to be on site tomorrow, but I think in the evening we're going to be trying to go to a town near the beach. We might play some disc golf during the day also, depending on oh, when I, I finish. The beach. Yeah, we might check out Lake Michigan, uh, check out some breweries over there as well. So we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Well, we are finishing this episode up just like I wrapped up my first episode of TQM Travels Carry On with a beautiful sunset view. At, <laughs> I'm setting a little bit. It's about the time it was setting when I was here last time. But here we are at Lake Michigan. Liberal uses the word setting. <laughs> this time, though, we're at a beach here in Saugatuck right after the brewery. What did you think of the brewery, Lisa? Uh huh. That they was had it. Some really boss music playing. That's true, live music. Yeah, the food was a little bit better than the first brewery we were at, but. Well, and, the fries were. The fries were. And the, the beer I thought was a little bit better as well, but honestly, neither brewery was like spectacular food. or anything. Well, for me, beer wise also. I thought like neither of them were amazing. They were good. Not disappointed or anything though. But yeah, look at these views. The sun is setting in the horizon. The, uh, there are a lot of rich people in the area. A lot of really pretty lake houses. Uh, up, you can't really see them though, but like up on this ridge, there's a lot of houses and they'll have little balconies and stuff. You can sort of, let's look this way. You can sort of make it out. There's like little stairs and stuff. Those are from the houses. Lisa, do you think you'll uh, join me on another work trip in the future? Yes. Yeah, pretty fun, right? All right, well. Except for the work part. <laughs> Fair enough. So that's going to be it though for this episode. Thank you guys for four years of vlogging and, and checking out our travel adventures. It's been a lot of fun. Should be a lot of fun continuing on in the future as well. Don't worry. We're not going to slow up or anything. We got some big trips planned for this year. It should be a lot of fun. So if you haven't yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing to the channel. 
give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And also don't forget to ring that notification bell so you can be notified when our next episode comes out. Until next time, guys, cheers.